Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the stream. This is the Kamati Fisto, and we are back with some more Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the original Game Boy. Still, still doing a little celebration of the 35th anniversary, since Nintendo seems to be doing very minimal. Yeah, here's a re-release of Skyward Sword, bro. Here's a Game & Watch. I actually think the Game & Watch is cool, but <laughs> damn, I wish... I do wish Nintendo gave more of a shit of their IPs. Grant, they're doing a lot more with Zelda and Mario than they are with, uh, yeah, like Metroid and F-Zero and all that other shit. Manny says, in your thumbnail, I love the link in the corner. Oh, yeah. And I got the, uh, the mental image from the, what, the Resident Evil Village trailer with the giant vampire chick. That's, uh, that's nice. That's good. That's good. So I wanted to wanted to replicate that, so I found some good good CDI link. The best link, if you will. Alright, so uh, yeah, let's just dive in. Last time we left off in the start of the fifth dungeon. Today I'll probably do like two and a half hours. So I'm going to try to do the fifth and sixth dungeon, leaving just the final two for maybe uh, two or three more streams. See if we can end it by then. I think that's a good idea. We've been ending quite a few games recently, so let's see if we can amend that shit. Ah, because we'll be starting a lot in the next week or so. In fact, depending on how I feel, tomorrow we'll either start a new game or do one of Spelunky, and then the following day start a new game. But uh, yeah, I got a couple ideas kicking for what we'll do. Hylix 2 is definitely high up on the list. I got a couple of PSP games I want to stream from the HDMI connection. What else do we got? Um, let's see. Shit. See, now I can't even remember. Um, Hilux 2. Ah, Super Metroid. Speaking of Metroid, because I forgot that there was, in fact... The 35th year anniversary of Metroid as well. So Super Metroid, Hylix 2. And because Skullgirls was kind of a bust, I think what we're going to do is... Let's see, can I jump that? I don't think I can. Yeah, that's four wide. I, I think you need the hookshot for that. This is the hookshot dungeon. You can't tell from the uh, guys with the masks. Usually it's pretty obvious what you're going to get in the dungeon. Okay, come on, dickhead. You pretty much have Dark Nuts here. From OG Legend of Zelda. Of course, those fuckers really do hurt. I don't think we can turn these guys into anything, either. There we go. Alright, let's uh, open this shit now. Nice! You got the compass. Now you can see where the chests of Nightmare are hidden. This compass has a new feature. A tone will tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, glad you're getting some use out of that emote, Manny. That's the uh, sorry for what guy. His daddy taught him all sorts of things. <laughs> all right. Woo. Oh, this went way, way faster than I thought. There we go. Not too bad. Oh. Shit, I need to like, put on some glasses as well. But yeah, since uh, Skullgirls is the boss, I also want to do a stream each of Mortal Kombat 2 for the Genesis and Super Nintendo. And then we'll start on Mortal Kombat 11. See how I feel about that game. That, sh that should be good. Yeah, my problem with Skullgirls wasn't with the gameplay or anything, it was just with the, uh, just with the matchmaking. This is like crazy, man. And... Huh. Mortal Kombat is an asshole game. Oh, I believe it. Still curious about playing it. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11. It seems um, it seems like they've improved a lot of the years. The last Mortal Kombat game I played was uh, Mortal Kombat 3 for the Super Nintendo. What am I supposed to do here? Fascinating. Okay. Well, that's certainly interesting. I guess we're coming back here after we open the door with that key. That's weird. That's a really ominous-ass room. Obviously, we're fighting a boss there. So yeah, Hylix 2, Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 11, Metro Super Metroid. 
And, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what else after that. PSP games, yeah, so that, that's that's about what we'll be doing. I don't want to start too much. I'm gonna play it by yeah, okay. Dick, yeah, right in the corner. Fucking dick. This guy is a great A asshole. Damn it. I'm like so focused on this gun. <laughs> this is actually infuriating. There we go. Holy shit. It's just a bad location to try to fuck with that guy. Okay, so apparently if you hit him with the sword, he gets stunned and you can maneuver around him a little bit easier. Okay. Got it. Oh shit, that dude just shoot an arrow at me? I think he did. Without further interruption, let's celebrate and suck some dick. Thank you, Mega Drive 720 Hope you're doing well today. Say what up in the chat, bro. Hope you're doing well. Hope you enjoy this game. This is a classic that I grew up with. My first, my first Zelda when I was a wee baby. Um, let's see what the map's looking like so far. And let me actually grab my glasses as well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And we did get that fin last time as well, or the scale. And with that, I think we get the we finished the trade quest. I think all you do is just put that on. Oh okay. All right, dicks. I think all you do is you put that on the mermaid statue and you're golden. God. Yeah, if you can maneuver around him, huh? There we go. Alright. Damn. There we go. And I'm guessing there's nothing here. Let's go left first because it seems like more of a pain in the ass. Okay. Oh, dude. It's they really wanted you to appreciate having the hook shot, don't they? The real pain in the ass. Probably be easier after I throw these pots. Actually, I'd probably just throw the pot at him, huh? Make it a little bit easier on myself. There we go. <laughs> it still took the damage. At last, you got the map. Beautiful. Yeah, the game actually does ramp up quite a bit in difficulty, especially, I remember the tower being particularly rough. Oh, okay. Alright, cut. It looks like we might die here. I, I think we do have the... We do have the potion, so we should be golden. Oh, alright. All right, so after you kill those homies, he's uh, he's down. I guess this is a one-way. It's gotta be. And fuck. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna fuck back off. Fuck back on. Got speed run Super Mario Bros. 64. I got you, Manny. I appreciate you dropping in, bro. Always appreciated. Nah, uh, honestly, if I was gonna speedrun, probably speedrun something like super obscure, just so I can uh, hold a record. Although, the fun thing about speedrunning something popular is all the secrets are more well documented. Ooh, there we are. That is absolutely what we needed. Also another thing, I think I pointed this out last time. Oh, there's it's numbered. We fight this guy like three times. Um, alright, I don't know what I did, but I know how to kill this thing. Oh, oh I see. You, you hit him while jumping. Or hit him while he jumps, rather. Alright, that's not so bad, especially with this bomb upgrade we got. Ah, I can't beat you, I'm out of here. Alrighty then. Yeah, we're pretty rough on hearts, honestly. Oh god damn it. I mean, I guess this could help. Anything else here? I've got what was inside this box. Come and get it if you can, Master Skull. 
I like it. I like it. <laughs> this game does have like a lot of a lot of charm to it, definitely. Do I have to bomb these? Nope, nope, don't have to bomb. Jesus, alright. So if I go down. Oh god, this is a fucking nightmare of a place. Oh shit! I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> Man, they took a lot for Mario, huh? Guess we're gonna do anything. Mimic, mimic Mario. Why not? Spots. Yeah. After this, I'm not sure when the next time we'll play Zelda is. I know the next Zelda we'll play is going to be Link's of uh, Link to the Past. But since over the winter we did play that um, winter randomizer. We do not have the beak. Yeah, no, we don't. Okay. Oh god. I don't really know what I was thinking there. Interesting. Um. Yeah. Since so we played that winter randomizer so recently, probably Link to the Past is going to be the last game I play on the SNES Classic for when I'm just about ready to do a review of it. Okay. Huh. Fascinating. Barry? Yes, we are good on health. Nice. Very much appreciated. I don't think there's anything else we need to push. That was that way. Oh, I gotta remember we also have arrow. Dude, I have not been using arrows this whole playthrough. Kinda hard to, honestly. Um, we could try going that way. I'd rather not. I mean, there might be something important that way. I mean, we could always just double check later on. Maybe we can arrow those motherfuckers? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we should just fuck with the arrows a little bit more. I don't want to use too many of them. Don't want to blow the wad and then run out. First one, we went this way, but we did not go up. I guess we should have gone up first, huh? Yeah, these things are so annoying. <laughs> they always are. God. And let's see if we can break these things. We gotta be very careful that we don't overshoot it. Anyway, I've been, um, we... What do we play through as well? So we beat Max Payne the other day. Great game, if insanely, insanely difficult. Um, did two streams of Skullgirls. I would do more, because it's good, but I... Yeah, that online just fucking sucks. It really does. It's worse than any other uh, fighting game I've played. For a competitive online. Um... Then we beat Mario Land 2. Yeah, I talked shit on that game for being too easy, but honestly, the the last few stages of that game was pretty fucking rough. Should I check out this area or check out the top first? We'll check out the top first. It should. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think we chose correctly. I think this is a one-way. It looks like a one-way. Because we can't push any of these, yeah? Yeah. Only after we lift that pot come the way back. Okay. Let's go down here. See what we can do. Yeah, I'm kind of... I was thinking about what I want to play first, but considering... Street Fighter V is still getting updates, and Mortal Kombat is not. I think I think they said something about possibly doing Mortal Kombat 12 at some points. I'd rather get 
few hours into that beforehand, and I can I can wait on Strive. I'm fine on waiting on Strive a little bit. I think the clock's ticking against some of those other games, though. Okay. But Tekken... 7... And Street Fighter V are still getting updates. I think they should be good for a little bit longer. I mean, shit, Skullgirls still getting updates, but man, they don't fucking optimize that at all, man. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. Once again, you could, you could do the online, but I mean, in order to do the online, you would have to do just one character, me absolutely memorize one combo, do all of the challenge modes and shit. And then, and only then, continuously go back to practice that combo while slowly introducing a second character. It's crazy. Alright, so now we can do it that way. Damn it! Ah, oh, it sucks. I wanna, I wanna activate these, but it, yeah, it's dumb if I want to anyway. Whoa, dynamite hack! <laughs> that was a good band, honestly. I didn't think they were too bad. Not too bad at all. Hmm. Can I, like, bomb these? Yeah, you hear a beepy boop, but the beepy boop doesn't really do anything. Alright. I think we need just a bunch of hook shots to get over here. Yeah, honestly, I don't think we need a hook shot for this, do we? Maybe we do. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of clearance, but I think we might be able to. Nah, probably not. I think we need a little bit more. Hey! No, 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 we got it, we got it! 50 rupees, nice. It's always exciting when you kinda, you kinda work the system. You feel like you're getting away with something. Maybe we shouldn't have done that, though. No, no, we got it. We got it. We can traverse that relatively easily. Yeah, this is around the point where my memory gets foggy. I think when I was finally able to... ...beat the last few dungeons. Like, the first four dungeons, and I was pretty much a straight shot to the end. Although, I remember getting really hung up on that fucking tower for a long time, man. Which it was really confusing carrying around that wrecking ball. I mean, we'll get around to that point. That to get there. Ah. Uh. Ah, cute. So that's how you open the door. Got it. Got it. Get a quick way the way back, but we still need to go the right. From that one direction. Okay. This is the third one. Third one's this way. Technically, we should go that way. I don't know. So, fourth is near the front. Third is near the back. You see what I mean? You kind of need... There's something to the right. Oh, to the, to the left is probably where you get the instrument. Okay. Alright, so three is in the back. North of the four-way intersection thing. Along with a bunch of treasures, but we'll be back here anyway, it looks like. Yeah, okay. Oh man, but we won't get it until we kill him, so I mean, uh... Yeah, it sucks. That means we'll be traversing back and forth through here quite a bit. I wonder. Gulp, you found me! You're a real pesky kid, you know that? Alright, well... There we are. Okay, so when he slashes or jumps, it really doesn't matter. Oh, god damn! 
kind of does a lot of damage, too. Ah, I can't beat you. I'm out of here. Good. All right. Now we'll go quickly. Well, as quick as we can. Specifically designed to make you run around a whole lot, huh? We gotta avoid that piece of power. And after this, I think we'll just try to play the Mambo song. I think the Mambo song should warp us back to the start of the dungeon. I think. I'm not too sure, though. Oh, wait, what? Oh, no. What am I doing? Oh, fuck. Uh, god damn it. I wasn't thinking. Wasn't thinking. Ah, oh, god, that sucks. And I <coughs> I'm so set on uh, going that direction. I mean, I guess it's not that big of a loss, huh? Although we are taking some serious damage, man. It's getting a lot. Oh, wait, it stays open. Nice. Okay. Let us switch to bombs. Here we are. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Dropped a bomb, though. We got plenty. Okay. So let us try to play the Mambo song. There we are. I feel like, I'm not even sure if I knew about this as a kid, or if I just figured out this later on after learning that pretty much in every Zelda game there's some way to warp back to the front. Alright. Uh, let's do another save real quick. And my arrows aren't gonna, like, pierce through them, yeah? Oh, uh, eh, maybe they do. Hmm. Alright, arrows. Have their fucking use, huh? Either that or they are effective from the side. Either way. Cool. Alright, let's get this last cunt. There we are. Man, that's so much easier. Okay. Lesson fucking learned. Arrows are good when everything else sucks. Oh shit, Jesus. Okay. Oh man, before we go to the um sixth dungeon, I gotta see if they give you the boomerang. It's weird, because every other Zelda game gives you the boomerang pretty much immediately, but also the boomerang's not as good. Holy shit. I don't know why there's this shit in my, <coughs> in my throat today. Hold up, guys. Give me one second. Also, gotta really try to bang out an a an Arduino review video. I'm not sure if I should break it into 20 videos where I review 10 each time, or if I should. I have 40 videos where I review um, five each time. There we are. Nice. Oh, please give me the hook shot. It's an interesting dungeon. Just the idea of running around real pain in the ass, then you finally get something that makes it way easier. Oh man, we only need one more thing. I think it's just the, the fire rod. Hmm. Okay. That's good to know that they also give me the shit. God, this is so fucking good. The hookshot is so awesome. Now we can pretty much traverse everywhere. Just 
definitely nice. And we can now kill some things. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice, 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 nice. And that's gonna be for the river rapids and also trying to get everything that the shopkeeper sells. The, um, the crane game guy. Ugh, god damn, dude. Fuck my throat. Please, I'll pay you. I'll pay you good money for that shit. I don't even know what I just got. I already got the thing in here, yeah? Yeah. Now we can do that. Hmm. Interesting. And do we have any keys? No, not yet. Okay. So we have been using quite a bit of arrows, you might want to grab that real quick. I feel like the Switch version probably streamlines a lot of this, being able to switch between things real, real easy-like. Under no, 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 no. Well, it's not really a fucking puzzle, is it? Oh, I guess, I guess you could, in theory, get past that with the feather if you wanted to drive yourself insane. I don't know, that's just the sound of me stealing his mask. Weird. There we go. At least I think you might be able to take care of that with just the... ...feather. Maybe you can't get past that previous room with the feather. It didn't seem like I could before. I think it's a safe bet to say you probably can't. Now we can go over here. Okay. Although this probably is... Okay, okay. Oh shit, Goma. I wonder if we can kill him with the... Oh. Maybe you can kill him with the sword, even. It's interesting that you fight two of these at the same time. I don't even remember this. Come on. Woo. But yeah, playing through uh, Mario 2, one of the reasons I wanted to play through Mario 2, I kind of just walked into him while I was looking down chat. Um, one of the reasons why I wanted to play through Mario 2, uh, Mario Land 2 on Game Boy, was to play through the Wario Land game. So I made a thumbnail for Wario Land 1, process of making one for Wario Land 2, which the Wario Land games are actually, I won't say they're long, but they're more long than you would expect. Is that, really? All that is for a uh, teleport. And we want back now. Huh. Switch over to the feather. Let's see what's up. Yeah, it's just weird that other Zeldas that give you the boomerang earlier on. This one just saves it for like the final, like ultimate. I just like move this. No, really? Uh, all right, all right, all right. So now we know teleport takes us pretty much directly to the end. Got it, got it, got it, got it. But yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the next RPG we're gonna play is gonna be. I mean, I guess Hylix too, but like besides that, after that. If 
eventually uh, we are gonna get around to Earthbound, probably probably in like November or December in all honesty. But I also wanna play Shining in the Darkness and Fantasy Star 2. So maybe uh, some mix of those. With RPGs I can sometimes really, really want to just take a long break afterwards. They are pretty fucking time consuming, huh? I mean, there's quite a few games that are like that, though. Time consuming, I mean. I mean, even, um, Spelunky, right? What are we on part 8 of that? Longer than I normally spend on a lot of these kind of games. I mean, shit, this is probably gonna end up taking eight or nine parts, so we're pretty much the same like the time we put into a Zelda game as what we put into a Splunky game. Yeah, and we're, we're able to pretty reliably get to the boss in Splunky, but I'm not sure how much longer it's gonna be before we can reliably take that fucker on. Uh, let's go down here first, yeah? Yeah. I'm not sure, if, like, how much time I'm gonna put into Splunky. Like, it's certainly a fun game. It just seems like a lot of time to put into one game before you're finally able to beat that fucking thing. Because, you know, there's multiple paths you can take, depending on what you're kind of going for. Dive under where torchlight beams do cross. Fascinating, okay. This is a way to quickly go around. So, okay, so you can either go all the way through the whole fucking thing or just take the teleport room, the mini boss room. But regardless, still need the nightmare key and we need a small key. Yeah, this is a pretty lengthy dungeon, huh? I'm glad this game still has some challenge for me. Yeah, you can imagine being like a kid. Uh, I played this first time when I was like five or six, you know? Well, it was for my fifth birthday. It must have been, um... I was five, so I mean, this shit... This shit just blew me away. I, I couldn't get past the woods. And, you know, I'd see my brother playing it a lot more than my other games, so... I was like, shit, that must be good. So then when I finally, you know, put in time, like, figured out what the fuck was going on with that, I'm like, oh, I see. See what this game is about. Check through this shit out. There's definitely a fault of this game is having explanations pop up for pretty much just about anything. So we will be going down through there. We still need to go grab the other two chests. It is just one thing we need, yeah? Can we, uh, get out of here? So is this another... underwater boss? No, right? Uh, let's see. So we fought the slime that we repeatedly ram into. We fought the anglerfish. We fought the genie. We fought the molderm. I don't even remember. Oh, no, 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 this is... Okay, I, I remember which one this is. The thing that comes out of the fucking walls, and you gotta use the hook shot to pull him out to reveal his weak spot. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's coming back to me. One thing I like about this game is each time, now that you kind of know the truth of the island... Each boss you kill gives you some really, uh... 
just sketchy comments related to the um, temporary nature of the island. Oh, I was looking at... And I was actually going to play some of this. I guess next time I'll play it for you. I was looking at some Link's Awakening. Um, commercials, because there's like a... Like a rap video here in America, and there's just some really weird puppet videos for the Japanese commercial. I saw the, um... The Japanese title when I was watching the Japanese commercial, and the Japanese title is straight up... Like... Link's, instead of Link's Awakening, it's, you know, Legend of Zelda. Ah, uh, what is it? Legend of Zelda, like, the Dream Island? The Island of the Dream, or some shit? So the title just gives away the twist. I mean, I know it's not, like, an amazing twist, but, it's, you know, it's interesting. More of a twist than you got with any of the previous entries, you know what I mean? God, the fucking Japanese and their lengthy-ass titles. It's like when you're watching Dragon Ball Z, and it's like... You know, what will happen next time of Goku? You know, and this is the Japanese shit, you know? So, imagine this, but in Japanese. They're like, what will happen next time with Goku fighting Frieza? Will he fail? Tune in next week for episode 267. Goku turns Super Saiyan and defeats Frieza. <laughs> it's like, fuck, what the fuck? Oh, man. It's insane. It really is. You can't make this shit up. Um, yeah, so we have the key, we have the Nightmare Key, now we can just warp back again. Make it a little bit easier on ourselves. Oh wait, did the fish tell you straight up, like, play the song to teleport around? No, he said, he said play it in different locations and see what happens. I mean, I guess, I guess that's fair enough, right? Dude, but Japanese titles, man, it just in everything. Just long as shit. You know, brevity is the soul of wit, unless you're fucking Japanese. Fucking assholes. Yeah, this is satisfying, killing two of them at the same time. But yeah, after this, though, when I'm done playing this and... When I'm play done playing this, that means I would have streamed uh, Pokemon Blue, Link's Awakening, and then when I'm done, Wario Land. Yeah, that's like the three top games on the original Game Boy. I would just leave... If I was going to do a top five, probably the Donkey Kong for Game Boy, which I do plan on streaming at some point. Probably like next year, honestly. So, you are at the Outsider. Come to wake the Windfish. Yeah, I shall eat you. Alright, so that's not what we do. Oh, come on, you dick. God. Now what we do? Oh my god. All right. This is what we'll do. I feel like this is working. Ah, fuck. I like the idea of, like, this this guy, because you don't really know how big this fucker is, you know? Alright, well, we do have that potion. <laughs> Fucking dick. Yeah, now it's like right diagonal of where you would be if you figured this shit out. Oh my god, seriously. Fuck. Oh, 
Jesus. Oh, there's four of them? Oh, god damn it. I gotta be patient, I gotta be patient. Shit. Damn. I remember this one being fucking tricky. I don't remember it doing that much fucking damage to me, though. You really just need to pick a side, man. Oh, alright. Hmm, weird. You don't seem to know what kind of island this is. <laughs> what a fool. I guess technically you don't have to go to that shrine yet. It's only before the next shrine, because we got the face key, and the face key opens up the uh, sixth temple. And I think we got it before the fourth? But you don't... It doesn't really force you, but you can do it early, so we just kind of did that early. You've got the wind marimba, whatever the hell that is. It's a xylophone. Shrine, an island secret in the shrine. But yeah, the Game Boy, the Game Boy Donkey Kong, and what's another fucking solid ass one? I also, you know, I, I feel like it's gonna be kind of boring streams, but it's something I still want to stream all the same. I can't always let people dictate what I want to stream and when, you know. But the Game Boy Gallery, like the Game & Watch games on Game Boy. Oh, come on, shit. I guess we should go... Ah, shit. See, now I, like, completely forget... I knew this was gonna happen. I completely forgot what we were going to do. Like, um, what kind of shit we need to do, rather. Um, shit, now we, now we can go to do the prairie thing as well, so I think we'll just grab some of the things we remember to do. There's also the cave in the forest. There's something over here, yeah? What, what was this here? There's a cave in the forest that we needed the hookshot for. We did all- okay, we already got this one. Okay, okay. So that south little edge, we're done. No more. No more there. Got it. Um, I want to check the beach cave. I think the rest of the beach we're pretty much set on. checked out that swamp in the area around um, Wright's house like four fucking times, so I mean, we're, we're definitely set for that one. Fuck. There we go. Got that shit, yeah. I think, I think we went in that house and grabbed what we need to. Yeah, we only need one more shell. That's crazy. Check this cave, see what's good. Oh god. Oh man, you really need to have. Okay, now how many do we have though? Yeah, we have five. That means you gotta be at like minimum three quarters of the way through the whole game before that even shows up. Analyzing. Plus side is though we'll have the level two sword, so I'm not sure how much we'll get out of that boomerang. I just remember that boomerang being broken. I might be thinking of a different Zelda though. Like I was saying, the original Zelda is really useful because it stuns enemies. And you don't have a whole lot of mobility or long range options in the original Zelda, so being able to stun anyone is awesome. What do you guys have to say? Yeah, she's still in the 
village, the animal village. Okay. Well, I guess if we want to, and we kind of do... Ah, huh, that, uh, sweepy lady is no longer there. No one's there. Hmm, I guess everyone's just pieced the fuck out, huh? Yeah, I think, I think we've kind of tapped out the... The village for all it's worth, all the changes that happened so far. Unless there's some crazy shit that happens in the very end of the game. Just double check the shop. Yeah, still the same old, same old shit. So let's try to work this guy and really get everything that he's got, and we'll go into the forest and get what we can there. Alright, let's see here. What's, like, a good location to try this shit? Uh, Nevi says your hydration should be, like, 300. You shady, singy bitch. Uh, what, what is it set to, Nevi? Also, how are you doing today, Nevi? I'm trying to, like, see what it's fucking set to. Oh, there we are. Hydration is 1,000. Alright, alright. I'll set it, I'll set it lower. I'll set it lower next time I can. Thousand. Hi, fuck face, Missy. I miss you too, Nevi. Hope everything's good. Sorry I was a sleepy boy the last time you were doing some shit. Mm. Been a hell of a week. Money-wise. Challenge again? Yes. Let's play the shit. See if we can get anything. One, two, hey, there we are. We got something. Alright, gotta be kind of aware of how exactly we're doing this. Well, thank you for doing the math for me, game. I think I'm gonna make a dumb decision on your behalf. All points back to their owners, one day only. What do you mean, all points back to their owners? On your channel? All points back to their owners. I keep fucking this shit up. Here we are. Oh yeah, we're, we're not missing this shit. Or we're not getting this shit, I should say. On your channel, watch- Oh, I see what you mean. All points can be sent back easily right now. Everyone get their points back. I gotcha. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't really mind. I don't have any, like, fucked up rewards, you know? Ah, oh, so close. Alright, alright. So it's like right when... Alright, alright, alright. I think, I think I got this. Hold up. I wanna, I wanna see if he gives you anything if you wipe this guy out. I feel like he... It's gonna be an insane waste of time, but... I think that was too early. Too early, ah, slightly. It's like you want it when it's on the right side in the middle. Like if you cut this into a grid, like a five by three, you want a middle row all the way to the right when it's moving up. And then we'll move in. I think that's what we got. I think that's what we're doing. Look at that! Ah! Oh shit! <laughs> hydrate. I will. I will hydrate on your behalf, Nevi. Mm. There we are. Delicious water. There's space for your name. So we cracked. We cracked the uh, the code here. Now we can easily win. 
pro tips, pro strats here on Count of Monte Cristo. Is that too late? Hey! Want to see something broken? Oh, sure. Are you just gonna keep redeeming a wasted fisting? Ah, oh, there is a cooldown? I got you. I didn't want too many people wasting their fists on Nevi. A fisting is a terrible thing to waste. You know that old adage. Posture check, I got you. Thanks for the heads up. Alright, one more, one more. Alright, as soon as it's right about there. And let's do the shit. Alright, alright, alright. Nice, beautiful, beautiful. Let's see if we get anything for this. <laughs> probably not. It's probably just a waste of time, but hey, I'm curious. I've never done this before. At least I don't think I have. Maybe I did. But you do run out of things to spend your rupees on, like in any Zelda game. We're closing up for the day. Come again anytime. No, you don't get shit. Ah, you fucker. No, he complained when you bring Marin here. So I brought Marin here. When you're leading her to the animal village, and it's kind of like a date. It's actually kind of cute. And then she uses the crane game to grab the shop owner and drag him into the uh, corner. He's like, get out of here, you fucker. <laughs> we don't want pros here. Um, we are going to go to the forest and use our newly found hookshot for that cave. And I'll try to brainstorm what else we need to do with this hookshot. Shouldn't take too long. I know exactly where it is. And then the rest of the money I guess we're spending is just on that raft game in order to grab. I think there's a hard piece there. Let's avoid the acorn. See what we can get here. I, I think there was a. Uh... Yeah, 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 there was. Okay, cool. Got it. There's also something in the desert, I think. We need to go grab a cave in the very back. All right, this is 50 rupees. Fuck. Um. So let us. Oh, we need to. We need to um buy a new potion as well. So let's play the Mambo song. To play the Mambo song, we can go to Uku Uku Prairie. And try to meet Wart from Super Mario Brothers 2. Sounds like a good time. I think that's what we'll do. Alright. 42 rupees, hell yeah. Oh yeah. Rub it on me, baby. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I watched Hellraiser again the other day. That's a solid fucking movie. It's fucking good. Um, also, because I was talking about Hitchcock films, I did also watch the first part of Rear Window. I need to finish that, I just need time to do it. Probably on my weekend I'll finish it. I watch, like, fucking movies and installments. I like Rear Window. It's one of his slower movies, but it's... I mean, I guess it's more shit happening in that one than Vertigo. But I don't know, it is cool. I mean... Think about how many times Rear Window was ripped off versus Vertigo. Yeah, once again, I didn't, I didn't hate Vertigo. It's, just, I don't know. I feel like it's a little overrated. But uh, I still say probably my favorites are North by Northwest and Psycho. Psycho. Psycho is the gold standard, if you ask me. People don't consider that a great just because it's a horror movie, but I mean, it's the same shit with The Shining, you know? I guess in recent years, people have shown more respect to The Shining. But when that first came out, the critics were fucking dickheads about it. 
But I mean, unless you have some artsy fucking bullshit critics or gothroticity in it. Alright, go this way. Go this way. Go this way. this way. Alright, let's see here. Gotta be careful. Go this way. Alright, so now we're going up. Check this shit. Alright. Anything else here? I guess we should check this out first. Gotta be careful not to read the same sign twice. I think it cancels out if you read the same t sign twice. Could be wrong, though. Alright, so now going up. Go this way. I'm guessing down. Nice. Right. Up. Gotta be left. Remember, if you read these out of order, it just resets and you have to do the whole fucking thing over again. Go this way. Go this way. Go down. Go left. Whoa, 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 what do you mean? Oh, God, I fucked up. Ah! Oh my god. Retard moment. Alright, alright, next time. Right. Down. Yeah, I know. I know, Nevi. It's a real gamer moment, what can I say? <laughs> True gamer hours right here. I wish you could fucking just pick things up just by interacting with it. Go this way. Oh god. It's like right in my way. Alright, now we're to listen to this music. This is our new hell. Right. Down. Right. Up. Left. God, what a, what a fucking design flaw. <laughs> what a fucking design flaw, man. Could be worse. I think what's worse is when games make it so sound effects have higher priority over music. That's that's probably some of the worst bullshit. There we are. Ah, it was the last one too. Great, you did it. Your reward is this way. Of course, we would. If we we're gonna fuck it up, we would fuck it up on the final one, huh? There we are. There we have Wart, straight from Mario Brothers 2, which I never beat. I've never beat. Mario Brothers 2, because that's a hard fucking game, but it is... I, I do like it more than the original Super Mario Brothers. I'm Mamu, on vocals, but I don't need to tell you that, do I? Everybody knows me. Want to hang out and listen to us jam? For 300 rupees, we'll let you listen to a previously unreleased cut. What do you do? Hey. Uh, epilepsy warning? Hopefully you don't need a hospital, Nevi. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> She's trying to fucking kill some kids. The light show doesn't kill you, the music sure as shit will. Oh my god. Modern screens don't trigger epilepsy. Really? Interesting. So is it just a CRT thing? Um, thank you. Thank you very much, Croak. You've learned the frog song of soul. It's a very moving tune. It can even liven up unliving things. If you play this song, you'll make everything around you feel more alive. Uh, okay. I played it at a graveyard, then? Huh. 
All right, let's uh, let's, I don't even remember what this does. So let's warp towards the graveyard and try to play it there. Maybe something weird can happen. I don't even remember. Um, Nevi says, and it can be prevented by playing in a bright room and putting an eye patch on one eye. Interesting. Uh, it's a very common fact. That's why I think most of the people that complain about not having epilepsy warnings on modern stuff know nothing about epilepsy. Yeah, and they're probably just, uh, the whiny, pretentious cunts who will complain about something anyway. Did he just die? Oh, god! Nah, I didn't switch it! Oh, god damn it. Alright, now we switch it. And we're gonna activate a whole bunch of ghosts just in case they kill them all, because I think that'd be awesome. Livens up living things. I don't know what the fuck that could mean. Alright, boys. Where's my spooky boys? Well, that sure shit didn't do anything. What about you guys? It live- well, they said it livens up living things, so maybe these are dead things? I don't know what it means to liven up. Oh god. Oh, wait, I think I know. I think I know. Um. Shit. I think I know. I think I remember. Oh, I wish. I wish there was more warp capabilities in this game. <laughs> All you can really. Well, I mean, there's a teleporter, sure. But you gotta walk to him, you know. Um. Let's see. Nevi says, that said, there are people that get severe headaches from stuff like that. And that's understandable, but also not something we should change everyone's behavior for. Yeah. Oh, God. Ugh. Is it this thing? What do you have to say, buddy? Probably just something about Marin. He sleeps the flying rooster. No? What the fuck does this do? I don't even remember. Um. Oh, weird. Weird. I don't remember. I, I really don't recall. Alright, I guess we'll just figure it out the old fashioned way experimentation. Um. Hmm. So, pretty much everything we need the hookshot for is. Shit around the lake, shit around the desert shit around here, and then the mountains. They're pretty much just the right side of the map. We have pretty much all of the left side of the map done. There's just a... Well, I don't want to look it up. That's cheating, Nebby. That's cheating. I want to do things the old-fashioned way. Like when we were wee little babies playing these forever, trying to figure out dumb shit and having to communicate with friends. <laughs> um, let's see, so where are we going? Uh, this warps to the animal village. I guess we could check out the desert real quick. And then from the desert head north, it's probably the fastest way. Or, uh, no, no, while we're here, let's actually check out the... While we're here, let's check out... The River Rapid Rides. In fact, the River Rapid Rides will lead us exactly to where we need to be. There we go. Forget how much it is. Is it like 200, 100? 100, okay. Well, it's like legit the only thing we have left to buy. After this, it's just, you know, it's just whatever. Um, shit, I forget which ways we went, but I mean, we have more money, so we're, we'll be fine. Gotta figure this shit out. So if we go to the far one, I think that's, that's better off. Shit. That's probably exactly what we want to. Alright, so you have to, when you fall down the first waterfall, you have to make sure you're at the very, very edge of it. Um, but this seems cool, though. 
There we go. Now you need look far for secret. What is the fuck does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? Well, I got 20 rupees. Uh, pays a little bit for itself. Now we dig. Let's hold back up against it. Alright. Hmm. I think I probably wanted to be. No, 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 we're fine. We're fine so are. So top right is money way. Top left is treasure way. That would have been cool to get. Could you imagine? Could you imagine how cool it would be to get that shit? I think we want it up. I think we want it up. I mean, it's just like a bunch of shit that we already have, for the most part. It's just that one treasure chest, really. But I mean, we, we go and grab it real quick. Fuck it. I think we'll do exactly that, honestly. Fuck it. Might as well. Now that's like fresh in our memory, otherwise we're just gonna forget. That's the cool thing about streaming, is I can use the word we. <laughs> Pass the blame on some of you fuckers. Oh man, we failed again. Oh man, we died. Aw, oh, Nevi, why are you so mean? You're so cold. Cold as ice. Hmm. <laughs> That's me, Nevi. Go fuck this up. Oh, I won't. Oh, dude, what the fuck? Are you serious? What the fuck are you supposed to do? Oh my god. That's fucking so shit. Alright, well, fuck. It really sucks. Hold left and me. I was holding left immediately. Oh my goodness. That was just like bullshit, honestly. Alright, so can I like grab anything else? Like if I, I guess, stay down, we can get some, some goodies. Stay up, maybe we can get uh, more shit. Well, we have enough for another one. Yeah. So let's try again. We'll try one more time. That is like uh, some fucking shit. Some real horse shit right there. Oh god. Oh god. Why why did you do that to me? It's like in Final Fantasy where the camera changes to where you're already holding in order to activate the camera change. Those old PlayStation Final Fantasies. Speaking of which, I um let's see, I streamed like most of eight. Before that shit crashed on my ass. That was great. Thank you, Raspberry Pi. I mean, that was just like a real shitty ISO file, but it's weird that I was the only one who experienced the worst of it. But then we streamed Final Fantasy VII. Like, the second half of that, that was one of the first things I streamed. Um, but yeah, Final Fantasy IX, of the PlayStation Final Fantasy, is like, by a long shot, that's my favorite one. Alright, so we're gonna just hold... There we are. All right. It's got to really push that diagonal. Really fucking push that diagonal. Okay. There we go. Wow, really? Uh, are you fucking me? I did that all for you? Ah, oh, Jesus. What the fuck is the point of this? Just to load up on shit? I mean, I guess. Ah, oh, man. Is there anything in the top right? I feel like there wasn't, but... Uh, it's kind of shit. I mean, we'll still grab some extra rupees, just in case.
There we are. Once again, there's like nothing left in this whole fucking game to get. There really isn't. Hmm. Shit. Well, I guess that's that then. What else is there to really grab? We could just make a beeline for the next dungeon. Explore more after that dungeon. I mean, we're here. Might as well. I don't think there's anything we need. Uh, what was in here? Oh, nice. All right. Well, we'll grab the one, one heart from our fairy. Remember how skanky the Nintendo 64's fairies were? That was great. I mean, I know those are like pyramid titties, but still. For like 1997, those are some pretty good pyramid titties. I mean, that was the best you were getting. They have been skanky ever since, yeah. Do you, like, uh, speaking of skankiness, Nevi, what do you think about, in the 90s, how apeshit publications were going for Lara Croft? She was on the front cover of, like, everything, and I don't think that was, like, gamer culture being like, oh, wow, Lara Croft, so hot. Also, Tomb Raider is such a good game series. I honestly think it's, like, Hollywood degenerates being like, oh wow, now I can fuck cartoons too. I think it was like part of that, you know? Like just the outside looking in and be like, oh wow, there's there a future in hot video game bitches? But like, you know, I feel like most of gamers were just playing Tomb Raider and like, wow, this game kind of sucks. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, Tomb Raider's impressive from like a early 3D engine perspective. You know, running that shit on a PC. Uh, anyway, hoot. There are two shrines. One to the north, the other to the south. First head south, where ancient ruins speak of the windfish. You will learn much there. Which we already did, we already grabbed that, and we learned that this island is actually a dream island. Spooky. By waking the windfish, will we die? Will everyone die? Tune in next week and find out. I guess that's all there really is to do here. What's to the south? Oh yeah, yeah. This, this is the um. Yeah, that was where we did the thing. That's where we did the thing with the thing and grabbed the key and read the ancient ancient hieroglyphics talking about our impending doom. Wow, you're a dickhead, dude. Uh, let's actually try to get the scale real quick. And then we'll hit up the desert real quick to try and... Oh god, where is it, though? Fuck, I think it's this way. Hopefully it's this way. You guys are assholes. It's awesome. I think it's this way. Oh, no, no, we weren't able to get it before. We had to, uh, hook shot across, so we weren't able to do that before. This is also new. And this should give us the magnifying glass, maybe. But all the same, let's see if we can get anything here. Anything at all. Nope. Okay. Put the missing scale in the mermaid statue. Beautiful. Nice. Okay, so this is the end of the trade quest, is what we need. You've got the magnifying lens. This will reveal many things you couldn't see before. I think this is the first time they had this idea, and then they reused this when they made Ocarina of Time. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of starts in this game. The owl... The lens, um, bomb arrows, uh, uh, shit, uh, speaking of which, I guess I should demo that off, huh? Yeah! Oh, alright, cunt. Can the Game Boy handle this many sprites? The answer is no, no it can't. 
Um, it's... <laughs> so, uh, Nevi says, sadly, it got started here because it's very useless in Ocarina of Time, except, like, the main dungeon. Now, it's used in the, uh, the Shadow Temple and the Well, which is, like, the Shadow Temple... Like, the teaser trailer of the Shadow Temple. But, yeah, that's, that's kind of about it. Um... Fuck. Yeah, I do, I do actually like Ocarina of Time quite a bit. I'm not a uh, non-conformist when it comes to that view, but I will say when it, you do revisit Ocarina of Time, the uh, the targeting system is a little rough because you have to shift the camera and then wait for N Navi. <laughs> I almost said Navi. You have to wait for Navi to target on them, and then you have to hit the target to lock on. So it takes just a little bit too long, you know? Yahoo, a new broom, superb. What is this bitch doing here? What are you doing here, slut? It's like sweeping the whole fucking island. Oh, and Nevi, also, this goat is legit catfishing uh, Mr. Wright from Sin City. She's like sending him letters with like pictures of Princess Peach. And then he's like, wow, she's so beautiful. <laughs> Let me confess my love. It's, <laughs> it's, it's really awesome, actually. Whatever. If he's from Saudi Arabia, he won't mind. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just go down. We'll go into the... Uh... See if she needs to say anything. Oh, Fisto, I often come to this village to sing to. It seems that just about everyone loves my blad of the windfish. Fisto, what is your favorite song? I like Thunderstruck. Can you sing that one? I'll do the vocals. It was cold in the middle of the night. <laughs> that dude really does sound like a fucking gremlin, dude. I don't even know how that dude still has a fucking throat. Oh, I got you, Nevi. I appreciate you dropping in. I, good luck with the stream. I'll, uh, I'll drop in on that later on. I'm, I'm gonna stay up for a little bit after the stream to study. So I will, uh... I will be there. To quote... <laughs> to quote the intro of Friends. Oh, wait, got... Let's, uh, grab this. I'm not sure what we're at. Hopefully we can get all of these. Yeah, I think there's just one more, honestly. No, I think there's, I think there's four more after this one. Because we have, how many more dungeons left? Three, six, seven, eight. Yeah, three more dungeons. Yes, yeah, so we actually have five more pieces of heart to get. I have no clue where they are, though. Um, what do I do? Oh! I just jumped the fuck down. I'm just being a dumbass. Alright, so that's that. So that is the area that we were thinking of. I think the desert we got cleared out. So, if we look at the map, we are done the river rapids. And I think we're done this section as well. I think we finish up the castle too, although we do need to go back when we get the rooster right before the eighth and final dungeon. There's that one fucking area. Uh, I think we have everything around the lake as well. I think we're pretty much set, honestly. I think we just make a beeline for the ending. Which is good, because I do like moving down my game list. Obviously, you know, I enjoy when I play these games, but... There's a lot I want to fucking play. So where are we going down? Here? Yeah, I mean, we don't need every art, and I'm sure we're gonna get one more, so I mean, we might be down by one, but I'll try not to do a full 
100% run, just for sake of my own sanity. I think we're going the right way here. Hopefully we're going the right way here. In fact, I guess, I guess we should double check. You know, we might have passed it. Yeah, we passed it, we passed it. It was, it was to the right. Fuck. All good, Nevi. I'll drop in on your stream later. What are you streaming, by the way? Where are you playing today? I'm gonna be playing Hylix 2 sooner than later. I think that's gonna be the next game I start. Hylix 2, Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 11, and Super Metroid. Fuck, where's this thing? Yeah, it's right over here. Um, Nebby is streaming Great Ace Attorney. Nice. Be sure to check that out. How do, can I kill these things with... Hey, I can. Nice. Good, good, good. Okay. Nice. This is what we needed before. Beautiful. To the next dungeon. I think we're just gonna play out this next dungeon, honestly. So this is officially the first dungeon you play where you're supposed to know the secret of... Well, it's like mandatory to know the secret of the island. Although, once again, you can just do that shit after the fourth dungeon. Level 6, Face Shrine. Ooh, spooky music. I like the spooky music. That's another thing that was a first for this game, was, uh... Ah. Maybe? Weird. My sword really doesn't work on him, huh? You got 50 rupees. Very nice. Let me, uh, go to the right. There's gotta be something I have that affects him. Weird. Why do I just not remember this shit at all? Hey, one of the few times the uh, shield is useful. One of the very fucking few times. The entire game. Yeah, Super Metroid, Hylix, Mortal Kombat, and some PSP games. So sorry, those are the next things. The PSP games I'm playing are actually some, I, I think, very underrated games. Um, Patapon, that's the one where it's like a rhythm game where you have a tribe of homies that you play the war drums to lead them to victory. And the other one is uh, by this company that just translates shit for weebs. Like a really terrible localization game, but uh, company. But um, what the hell is it called? The game is called What Did I Do to Deserve This, My Lord? And what it is is you create a dungeon and create in a way that slimes can procreate in order to kill incoming adventurers. Actually a really cool game, if a little monotonous, but I love the idea. Hmm. Weird. Really weird. Yeah, the dungeons here get a lot more interesting, that's for sure. A lot more out there. Design. Probably bomb and get through there, but we can also bomb through here. This looks suspicious. Hey! Let's see what we can do here. 
It's so close to being a swastika, it hurts me to the soul. Oh my god. There's your uh, Zelda 2 throwback, huh? Shit, I want that heart. Alright, so where's that? Oh my god, really? Terrible. Alright, well they're dead. So that's how that's how you <laughs> that's how you deal with them. Not by uh fucking wasting all your arrows. Lessons to be learned. So we have to hit that fucking thing when we get back up here. But it's it's been activated now, so that's just a lot better. Let's check out up here before we go down there. Oh, I remember this. There's a little bit of a pain in the asshole. So now the question is... Do we go through the left or through the right? I guess the right first. I just have to remember to go through that right at some point. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. Seriously. Why would you do this to me? There we are, alright. Thought I had to kill some enemies or something, alright. This is interesting. No, 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 dickhead. Oh, God. I have to do this now. Shit! You gotta be patient. Patience is not my virtue. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, come on, just die! There we go. Holy shit. There we are, we got a map. Oh god. You wanna actually do this? Um, so shit, what are we doing? There's that way to the right. Through the stairs with the giant ball enemies. I guess we can keep going up through here. What, what the fuck am I doing? Ah, I got ya. Alright, alright, getting the, um, the helpful shit. Alright, I got it. I know how the compass works. This is the sixth dungeon, dude. I am well fucking aware. Oh, shit. Interesting. Okay. There's many reasons why I want to hit this thing. We want to hit that down for that area. And we want to hit it there. No, uh, well, no way. We would be able to go through there. Okay, okay. First, let's do that.
Yeah, the dungeons actually do get fucking harder. They really do. Which, you know, I'm grateful for. Do you want to time it when they first disappear, oddly enough? Oh, no! I thought it was gonna be a fairy! Why wouldn't you give me- Oh, my god. I mean, I know we I have full health, but come the fuck on. Okay. And you can see it looks like a face. It looks like the nightmare room. So we've explored most of the dungeon already. I think this dungeon is actually pretty short, it's just confusing. I kind of prefer that design. Ah, we have to throw it against that thing. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Now let's go to the right. Got the stone slab, so we can use it at the start of the dungeon. Let us switch so we're not wasting that, huh? Okay. Okay. Oh, I gotta remember I can- uh, I can just do that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. There we go. Hey, nice. There's a bomb here. And I gotta remember to actually use the clue. I mean, we don't need the clue to be sure, but sometimes it can be helpful. We can be it without the clue. Make a huge clue right now. I actually try not to quote South Park too much, and I think, like... The writers have become very elitist over the years, I feel. Like, are they funny? Yeah, like, I'll give them that. They are funny. But it's like, uh, I don't even know. I don't, I don't really describe it. Like, it's it's the kind of like the edgy boy meme on 4chan or something who is just a, uh, like, oh wow, Republicans and Democrats are so fucking stupid. I, <laughs> I'm independent. I have no, uh, I don't really settle on one really viewpoint, I just criticize every other viewpoint, you know? Like, alright, well, have, like, some convictions. I'm, I'm not saying you have to be left-wing or right-wing, but have some convictions. Instead of just being like, everyone but me is an idiot. <laughs> like, that's such a- that is, like, the most toxic, uh, viewpoint you can have. Or it's like, uh, they took their jobs shit. You know what I mean? Do we go to the right? I thought so. I mean, we'll double check. Uh, yeah, let's let's do that shit real quick. But yeah, but they took they <laughs> they took their job shit, right? You know, you have this like actual society problem of a uh, huge demographic shift that's affecting millions as there's, you know, cheap labor being introduced and companies are being taxed out the ass and leaving the country to accelerate the problem. You know, like, it's it's actually like a very complicated societal issue. It's job demographic change, but then you have like, you know, these 
I mean, I think they're funny, but let's be honest, these cunts in, uh, what, like, New York, who just write haha -ha funny cartoon all day, being like, oh, wow, you know, just making <laughs> fun of your, uh, you not able to, uh, find a job and support your family. I mean, it's kind of fucked up. It just is. Like, we can laugh and joke and jerk off all fucking day, but at the end of the day, it is something that we have to figure out. Is maximizing jobs, because you do need to work to support yourself and also be happy and, you know, support a family. And they're like, well, there's too many people alive right now. It's like, okay, well, who's to say, like, well, you guys get to, you know, have a job and income and family, but these, these people over here in, like, this part of the country, for example, no, sorry. Wrong place, wrong time, fuck you. Like, I don't know, that seems cold. But anyway, like, just shit like that, though. Sometimes I'll think about South Park and be like, man, there's some funny episodes to be sure, but sometimes I just think the writers come off as like real douchebags. So where are we going now? And there's still that area to the very top right, or top left. <laughs> I swear I have like dyslexia when it comes to that shit. Yeah, it's gotta be like right when they disappear. Alright. I guess we'll go down first. See if we can grab that shit. Wow, really? Really, motherfucker. Dude, I gotta, I gotta like stop this shit. This is driving me absolutely insane. Have it equipped. I know what's wrong with me. Alright, please, just please hit me. There we are. Jesus Christ. And like ruins the ambiance of the dungeon. This is what I'm talking about. Holy shit. What a design flaw. It's like it's such a great game. Like this really isn't one of the top um top Zelda games, you know? So when I hit that shit, I have to go down here, maybe? I don't know. We, we have to find a way to grab that chest, though. That chest is going to suck. Is there anything else down here? No. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's see if there's maybe one under here. I don't know. Ready to bomb something? Is that what you're telling me? Classic Zelda shit. Just bomb every wall. Yep. There's probably some hint for it. Alright, so when I hit that, just go down and then I can find that. Alright, alright. Man, this is kind of like a pain in the ass dungeon. If I remember what exactly I have to do. Oh god. Oh, I see. I see. I remember this kind of being a fucking pain in the asshole. Oh god. Oh, come on. Oh god. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you, that was very satisfying. <laughs> uh, nice, nice. Well, now we can warp. Do 
and fro. Oh! Okay! Weird. Weird. Alright. Like a one way. On the last one, nice figures. The least we got through it. Wow, ah! dude, <laughs> I don't know why it's so hard to uh, have your jump be perfect. That shit. Guess we can just go through here, huh? Yeah, let's go down. Curious. I just hope that doesn't lock right behind me. I have to go. All Would it suck if it closed right back? Ah, oh, fuck. Um, okay. Hook shot him? No, okay. Oh, maybe I just have to, uh. Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, this thing kind of sucks. We gotta have the run. The runny boot. Oh god! Are you kidding me? Jesus. That's so f I don't know, it's just tricky. It's just fucking tricky. Okay. Oh man. I'm, I'm gonna wanna get all the... All the bonus items too. Oh, that's good. Alright, well now we know how to get to the boss. It's only the boss key. Ooh, that's good. I like you. Do you like me? Jesus. I still didn't even technically kill it, because when it drops in the hole, it doesn't fucking die, necessarily. room. Alright, so I don't need the Pegasus boots. You just have to really, really try. Okay. It's kind of funny, though. The further you get in the game, the less optimal the sword is. Alright, so this room, I remember this room sucking dick. Yeah, I... I <laughs> I don't know. I remember that actually taking a while. I guess not. I don't know. I feel like that's something I always see in forums that people complain about, but uh, I don't know. I remember having a little trouble with that. I don't remember doing it first try. I don't know what the fuck I did so right there, but apparently so. Why? <laughs> Why? Why aren't you dying from this? God, they changed up the rules so often in this fucking series. Alright, you just barely have enough room to, uh... No, no you don't. Sometimes you do. 
Good. Yes. Kick my ass. Thank you. Like John Lemon. Dreaming about a Bionicle kicking his ass. Got 200 rupees. You're ecstatic. Well, thank you. like a perfect amount of bounces apparently I think that's what it is that would be a certain distance out of a wall and have enough room for it to land good weird definitely weird not saying it's not we have the dongos I think we saw these before yeah in a uh, bottle cavern or whatever the fuck it's called or Slimeville, or I don't fucking know what they, what this shit's called. Okay, so what's up into the right? Then what's the point of this? Huh? Weird. Very weird dungeon so far. I, I don't really know how to explain it other than that. Um, okay. But I think right now the little button thing is how I want it to be. There we go. So I don't think I want to actually hit the switch. I think. I hope. But I hit it already in that one room. That's crazy how many rupees I spent and I already have around 500. Crazy. Alright, so let's do that. Just have more to go. Of course, unfortunately, the last few dungeons are on complete opposite sides of the map. We practically have this one. Beautiful. Okay. And let's jump and grab some arrows, because they are actually useful if a little bit... I know, it's weird, they're overpowered on Sana enemies and just don't do shit on others. Ah, I see what I'm supposed to do. That's actually pretty tricky, huh? That's why that shit exists. Nice! 3D platforming on a 2D plane. I actually don't mind that, I think that's kinda cool. Oh, okay, watch out, motherfucker. So now there's just that one, that one, uh, area in the top left. I think I needed the level two gauntlets to open that shit up. So here we are. Born to be free. We are the princes of the universe. I, I always, every time I bring that up, and I'm starting thinking about Highlander, and how I don't understand why that movie is so loved. Like, it's a cool concept. I think it's not really executed that well. Like, I like the idea of the movie way more than I actually like the movie.
I also kind of forget <laughs> what uh, direction I need to go. Enter the space where the eyes have walls. Space where the eyes have walls. Okay. Whatever the fuck that means. I think this actually is what we want. No, we need to... We need to hit this with bomb. We need bomb. Now we need... This and bomb. We actually don't need to even fuck with these guys, huh? Do that and keep on keeping on. We wanna go up. Fucking dick. And we want this shit hit. Got it, got it. Grab this bomb as well, though. They're really leaning on my items all of a sudden. Which I like, you know, I, I, you know it's not just whack motherfucker with sword. Rinse, recycle, repeat until game over. I appreciate that. You got a hundred rupees. You're happy. That was the wrong your, but okay. <laughs> hey! Yeah, I think that's what it is. You just have to be a certain distance from him. That's not so bad. I might need to hit that with a bomb. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. It's actually crazy. Alright, we can get the level 2 sword. I think we might do that after the dungeon. Level 6, face shrine. That's what it is. It's crazy. All these years later. Now the question becomes, how the fuck did I get to the boss room? I don't even remember. I actually don't think it was this way. Maybe it was this way. I know we went through some stairs. Is that it then? Oh, okay. I think, I think it was that way. Like down to the right. Fuck, I should have made a mental, better mental note. I'm actually looking forward to playing, I mean, I've been looking forward to playing Hylix for a while, but once again, you gotta, you gotta space out your, um, RPGs. Western and J. Western and J style. Hylix is a Western RPG, but it's a J style. Fascinating. Ah, I see, I see, I see, okay. Fuck! Annoying ass. <laughs> no, annoying ass dungeon. Well, let's. While, while we're here, let's grab some more of these uh, arrows. Going to the right, yeah. Actually, uh, shit, I feel like there's something here. No, that's just for flair? I don't, I don't fucking know. Weird. Yeah, okay, this, this is definitely where we're supposed to go. Alright, well, that's another dungeon down. Just leaves two left, and we'll grab the... We'll grab the level two short... The uh, level two short. We'll, we'll grab the level two sword. God, I had to hit that fucking thing again, really? We'll grab the level two sword and check for the boomerang, and then uh, probably call it. But the next thing we need to do... Is just head towards the mountains. I'm not sure if there's another story segment we gotta fuck with, or not. 
I really don't know. Oh, what's up, Layla? I don't know what my dog wants. I'll probably end up taking her out later. Yet again. Yeah, I'm like, I'm just thinking, like, with, with this shit, how the... They, Zelda Game & Watch... If people do buy it, and, like, maybe that'll be people's first time playing through the, uh... Link's Awakening, either OG or just normal. Like either, you know, just just straight up any version or the first time playing through the Game Boy version. Oh god, I, I, we need a... We need a... But I think by just comparing the dungeon and world complexity between the three games, despite similar hardware, I hope it really does a good job at... I, I hope people are kind of blown away by this game. All these years later. I'm like, wow, this really was a huge step forward. Wait a... M oh my god. What in the fuck? Was it through the... Uh oh god. We, we gotta check this out. I guess it's through here, and then through that other stairwell we found. I guess that would make sense. This is further along in the uh, place, and we just wasted a lot of time though. Oh, whoa, whoa, motherfucker. I was holding up. I was holding up. Jesus. Alright. Killing me. So, down, right, yes, 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 okay. It's a brutal fucking dungeon in terms of confusion. Really twisting, twisting everything around. Alright. Come on. You fuck. Dude, every single game. I hate those fuckers. Can just go through here, yeah? Yeah, I can. Alright. Hey, dummy, need a hint? My weak point is... Whoops. There I go, talking too much again. Okay, listen up. If the windfish wakes up, everything on this island will be gone forever. And I do mean everything. Oh shit, we killed him before he even started to open up random uh, pitfalls all over the place. Nice. Sweet. Another dungeon down. You've got the coral triangle. Nice. I feel like that'd be a bitch to do, <laughs> make a triangle out of coral. Yes, I'm bleeding from the ears. So, level two sword. Mountain, something calls from the mountains. Level two sword. There we are. Luckily I didn't play the... The, uh song I was about to. Who, the many monsters of this island fear the windfish is about to awaken. The monster's power is real. They may conquer the island and destroy their foes. That day may come soon. Now go to the mountain tower. Fly like a bird. That's a, that's a clue. It's a clue. I don't think you need a... Uh, I don't think you need the bird for the seventh dungeon. I think it's just the eighth one. 
all the same. I didn't use my potion, did I? I don't think I did. No, we still have it. Okay. So what do we need to do? Um, shit. Brain. Work. Work, brain. Level 2. Sword. We can grab that real quick. That's a little faster than going to the ocean cave. We can do that real quick. I think that shit's this way. I don't know though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, good memory. Rarely. <laughs> Rarely. Sometimes a good memory. Sometimes, uh, sometimes, uh, fucking not. Once again, I think this game gives you, like, 26 of these things. The only downside is I think this game's gonna get a lot easier with level 2 sword. And this is my problem with the Game Boy Color version, is if you choose the attack... If you choose the defense, you're just not taking any damage. In the Color Shrine. It's pretty cool, though. It's pretty cool. It's pretty fun cool. You got a new sword. You should put your name on it right away. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. That's the thing is like, if you get the, the, what the blue tunic, I think it was in the color shrine in the DX version, like, you just take no damage for the rest of the game. Like, it's broken that way. If you get the level 2, uh, the, um, red tunic and do double damage... You're, you're just killing everything in one shot, and then you get the level 2 sword on top of that, and you're just one-shotting the bosses. Which is honestly one of the problems I had with Majora's Mask, was... It got too easy. When you get everything, and honestly... It's such a pain in the ass to get the sword, that when you finally get, or, uh, finally get the Great Deity Mask, that when you finally get the Great Deity Mask in Majora's Mask, that's like, you can only use it on the end boss, it just ruins the end boss. Just makes it really not fun to play. Uh, can I just, like, go down here? Is this a little faster? I feel like it is. Nah, we'll, we'll go through the town. Might be some story-related shit. I think we might call it soon, though. But we are geared for a very solid... Dude, you're asking me when we started to live on this island? Yes. Here sleeps a flying rooster. I wonder what Urira says. I, I, th I thought you had to play the living song for that thing. I, I don't know what this living song does. I might actually look that up. I don't know. Have you heard of the flying rooster of Maybe Village? In the good old days, it used to give us rides if we held it above our heads. Now it is lying under the weather... Co the weather cock. Is that useful? I hope so. How would you know to do this? Yeah, I think next time we'll just go to the animal village and just ask around. Just to see if the... And check out the mountains. Just to see if the game actually gives you. Just out of curiosity's sake a clue that that's what you're supposed to do, because that's very obscure. If if I'm right and you have to play the, you know, wart song for a clock. I mean, obviously, you know, it gives you a hint if you really need it. Nice. Oh, finally, dude. Best shit in the game. Back to back to back to back. I found a good item washed up on the beach. I'll trade it to you for what you have in your B button. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, whatever. 
trade for what you have in your B button. What if I say... Oh yeah, uh, okay, whatever. Oh, what a dick! Uh, so what do I not need? The shovel? I guess, yeah? Do I need the shovel for anything else in the game? I feel like no? I found a good item, watch it up on the beach. I'll trade it to you for what you have in your B button. Okay, uh, I don't I don't think you need the, B, the uh, shovel for anything else now. You got the boomerang in exchange for the item you had. Give me back the boomerang, I beg you, I'll return the item you gave to me. Not now. Okay. Weird. Interesting. I don't remember that. Yeah, the, uh, the boomerang just insta-kills everything and gets you items, so it's like, uh... Doesn't have the utility of the hookshot in terms of, like, carrying you across ledges, but it does do some other things. Um, I am going to just ask around the animal village real quick to see what she says. Yeah, I remember the, uh, it does, like, a shit ton of damage. It's actually crazy. So between this and level 2 sword, I mean, you just, things just die. So, yeah, we'll check out the, uh, the ammo village real quick, talk to Marin, and then I think we'll save and call it. And then next time we'll just go to the mountain and see what we can do without the rooster. God. It's so fucking cool. This is cool. This is awesome. I don't know, I just love that kind of shit. But you finally get a really good item and just an action RPG and it kinda not fully breaks the game. Because once again, when it comes to shit like Majora's Mask, the great day of the game. Well, it doesn't break the game because you don't play through the whole game, but it breaks the end boss, which is one of the coolest part of that game, you know? is the end boss. And your reward for doing everything in the game is like... Uh, but then it's like, you want to use the Great Deity, because it's such a pain in the ass to get. Uh, what do you guys have to say? Uh, how can an animal talk? How? I'm just a rabbit, so I don't know. Where did fucking Marin go? My ultimate plan is to open a branch in Mabe Village. Marin B. I dreamed that I turned into a carrot last night. What an odd dream. You know, sometimes I can't help eating a delicious piece of paper, even if it's a letter to my darling Mr. Wright. Still funny. Still funny. Still good. Good joke. A new broom. Alright. Ah, what are you looking at with that magnifying lens? Stop it at once! Magnifying glass? What do you mean? But why? Why does he say that? I feel like I can equip the magnifying glass. Weird. Weird that he has unique dialogue specific to that. Ah, little Marin, I want her to come back again. Her song is the best. She at the beach again? Or is she in the mountains? She might be in the mountains. Have you heard of the flying rooster? They say it lived in May Village a long time ago. I wonder if it's true. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I just don't remember that this game. Yeah, I guess we'll just, uh, teleport to... The mountains and just, and just call it. I think that's what we'll do. I mean, I guess I guess we didn't check out the main 
the main house. I guess we should have done that, huh? Just in case. That's a shop, not a main house. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Shit. Yeah, no one in that house. Motherfucker. Hmm. Alright, let's uh let's get to the mountains. Actually, I was about to switch the boomerang. So sh <laughs> cut some cut some bushes. Not really worth it. Not worth the effort to switch now when I have to break those rocks anyway. Yeah, that is that is a benefit that I would feel like probably makes the Switch version a hell of a lot better is not having to switch everything non-stop. Everything here is good, yeah? Yeah, once again, I, I don't think we'll get full 100% hearts. Like, if we do just end up... Oh, god damn it! If we do end up running across every single heart piece in the game, great. But I'm not gonna go out my way. We are... We're pretty much done the game, aside from the final two dungeons. I think the final final dungeon is just the end boss. It's a little weird to be sure. There we go. The going is much more trying from this point. You have only two more tasks to accomplish. The first is in the east part of the mountains. The second in the west. Go, the windfish grows restless. And I don't think there's anything we can do up here except look around. Yeah. We haven't checked out the rest of the... Uh, this mountain path, though. So that is new. But with that, I think I'm going to call it. Because it's, you know, been like two hours and we're practically at the end of the game. I think this will probably be done in, I want to say, two streams. I think two more streams sounds just about right. So let's save and quit. And call it. Once again, solid game. Actually, a fairly long quest. Especially for Game Boy. I mean, Game Boy did not have a whole lot of long games. That's one of the things that blew everyone away about Pokemon. It's a fucking solid, meaty 20 to 30 hour quest if you're not going for 150 Pokemon. Crazy shit. Crazy shit. Very impressive. Anyway, thanks again, everyone. Just uh, another relaxing Zelda stream. Tomorrow, we'll either do some more Splunky or we might start Hylix 2 or some Mortal Kombat 2. Then 11, or some Super Metroid. I don't know. We'll, we'll be starting all of those within the next week, I'm sure. Anyway, thanks again, everyone, and peace out.